right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Way Out. We finally on season two. We gonna have content. You feel me? Just ignore that, y'all. We're gonna have content, we're gonna have special guests, we're gonna have performances, we're gonna have better music, better looking pic. We're gonna have better tape. All right, so thank you for tuning in. Remember, um, YouTube channel, at Cam Dirt Productions. If you followed already, if you subscribed already, that's cool. If not, subscribe. Um, so, season two, episode one, here we are. I got a good friend of mine, fellow director, fellow producer, fellow talk show host. And you know, he does everything, and it's just cool to have him on the show. I'm really thankful to have him here. It's, I guess, an honor, as you could say. Um, so guys, help me introduce Keith Bell. What's up, bro? Thanks for coming, man. No problem, man. All right, man. You're sweating, bro. Woo! You good? Let's get a little steam now. Let's steam in that ain't it. Yeah, I'm cool. We got it. We straight. <coughs> okay, so you on the way out, man. You good? How that feel? You, we straight? I feel honored. Let me tell y'all, man. I got Keith Bell on my show. I know I'm about to make it. I know I'm going make it. You feel me? Because this man does everything. So what, for people who don't know you, what all What all do you do? What What would you classify yourself as? Um. You know what? I create content, mm -hmm. but I have shows like web series. Mm -hmm. I've done two stage productions. Okay. Um, I have podcasts with a couple of my friends. I work at the bank. Um, Give me to that. I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> I'm <Wait, don't> listening. <laughs> I work okay. at the bank. Um, that's pretty much what I do. Okay. So you said two web series? Yeah. One web series. You work two stage One plays. web series. Well, I guess what's the word? Kind of like a web series. You know, I think that's like top okay. interview, talk show, whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. So two web series, Go ahead. two stage productions, uh -huh. and a podcast. So you do it all. You a whole Somebody. the whole spectrum of creative. That's on this. Yeah. Okay. What do I do? You made me want to think. What I do? Uh, what's your stuff? Right? You feel me? Um, <laughs> I'm a director. I got content coming out. So just I know not a lot of content on there. It's coming out. Um, talk show host. Regular con I do cinematic sequences, so content creator, you know what I'm saying? So a couple of web series coming out in March. No, so I'm right behind you, you feel me? Yeah, I'm working. I think I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. We'll see. Um, but like I said, man, Keith Bell, I've been seeing his name everywhere, predominantly for his show Women on YouTube. So where, so how did that even come about? Like, what, what is women? Because to me, it seems like, I don't want to throw it out there, but it's your life? Is that where no, it came from? It's not your life. life. Let's, let's stop that narrative. Yeah, because that's what, that's what you play the character so well, JP. JP, right, is the main yeah. character. You play JP so well, it's like, that has to be because you just no, like playing so well. It's not my life. Okay. There are some things that have happened. I just make it more dramatic. Mm -hmm. Not just my life, but maybe one of my friends' life. So you take their stories and kind of yeah, just make, I got you. Just okay. make it dramatic and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But women came about from dealing with women. Makes sense. You know what? Shirt. So if you want to donate to our shirt cause, please just hit me up. We take PayPal, Cash App, Oops. anything, anything you give, we'll take in my pocket. We need shirts, obviously. I got some gold tape. We're gonna keep going. So we were talking about. Oh, women. I was dealing with this girl. Yeah, there we go. That's what it's yeah. like. Yeah, I'm <laughs> and I just had a day off from work. One day, and she was like, "We should hang out." I was like, "All right, cool." So the next day, she ain't never hit me up about it. So I ain't gonna hear her up either. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So Sound that like night this. I went over there. Uh -huh. And then she was like, we were supposed to hang out. And I was like, yeah, I know you ain't never hit me up. You ain't never tell me what we're supposed to do. Yeah, right. Like, you were supposed to come up with something. I was like, it was your idea the first To hang out first. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she was like, so you ain't gonna hang out with me? You see your face? Yeah, that's, <laughs> and that's you. And that's you. <laughs> yeah. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then that's how I came up with it. And you just started it. So to look at where women is now from that just general event happening to you, did you ever did you think that was gonna happen? Like the turnout you get, the views you get, the hype? Because there's somebody on Instagram. If I see Keith Bell, it's, it's women, boom, it's boom, boom, it's consistent to it's boom, yeah. boom. Everyone's hype. Yes and no. Cause I know when I put when I when I do something, I want to put my best foot forward. Right. So of course I want to be this. I want to be bigger than this. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's just like. I guess the humble part is like, people really fuck with it. They really fuck with what you yeah, doing. Yeah, they fuck with what I'm doing, so it's like, it feels good at the same time. It's real apparent to it. I'm yeah. telling you, like, every time I get on there, bro, I literally see, and it's not people, you know how people, uh, you like, you got a sentence of support what I'm doing, they're just yeah. support to put a picture up. People putting sentences about yeah, what you're doing, that yeah, takes time, you gotta yeah, type yeah, it, make sure the font right, you know. And I don't even ask, it's just like, it happens. They just mention me in the story. And, and I think when you, um, 
it's good that you connect with them too. So you repost it on your story, and know that you actually do appreciate and care about it. Yeah, and I talk to them back and forth in the right. videos a little bit. So that's that's a pleasure. You're doing it right. You're marketing yourself too. So that's awesome, right. man. You're doing it all. That's women. So yeah. that's that right there. Yeah. Okay, you want to jump? What do you want to jump to next? We can go. What's what's in too deep? I think that's my. What is in that? Too deep. Yeah. What's um, that? That's a show that one of my best friends, Jante, came up with. Mm -hmm. um, basically, he getting into his content creator type realm, and he's just. Like, he can interview you and got just you. basically how did you get to the point where you are now? Make sure you tell him that too. I love to do that. I got you. Yeah. Word. It's going into the deeper, like, how did you get to the, basically, how did you get to position where you are right now? Mm -hmm. Just talking to just the different people. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like, your, your shit was a whole hour. So, I'm, yeah. I'm that's, you you gave your life story. I tried watching. I watched about 30 minutes. I was like, all right, all right. Gotta, <laughs> I'm going to come back to this. So, that's into deep. And so, so, it's produced by you, though, because on your YouTube yeah. channel. So, it's through me. So it's okay. uncaged. Okay, so what, what's the... So, because I feel like other people are confused like I was. Yeah. So it's Uncaged Birdie... Productions. Productions. That's my production company. That's you. Yeah. But Uncaged Birdie Network. Okay. My yeah. idea was... Alright. Because I was supposed to do two other shows mm -hmm. throughout the summer. I was supposed to do like a, a weekly news thing. And I was supposed to do a car show with one of my other friends. Got you. But... The weekly news felt I, I wasn't going to be able to like do it weekly, so I feel that it too. fell through. I feel <laughs> that the car show, um, he worked his work schedule. We weren't able to film as much to get the episodes out, so both Got of those you. fell through. So the network part came through. I was going to have women, I was going to have I, was, I brought what's the word back, mm -hmm. and then I was going to have yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Keep I was going to have the talk show, mm -hmm. I was going to have the car show. It was going to be like a network a network i got you i yeah. feel you yeah so that's you was already putting it out there but another stuff didn't fall. Yeah. i feel you that happens at yeah. least she was thinking ahead to what you wanted to do so that's that's a plus yeah so that's what happened okay so i got it so for everyone out there they can find your instagram at uncaged birdie productions that's the that's the production company instagram yeah got you okay yeah, yeah. but as far as the youtube channel it's, it's listed uncaged birdie network because it's a network for all your stuff Oh, but I cleared it, up, cleared it up for a bunch of people out there because I was confused. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got that. So women in too deep. So what's the word? Is that like a pop up talk show type thing? Just pop up interview. Cool. Boom. What's the word with the first like internet thing I did? Got you. I uh, that was. What year was that? Two thousand thirteen. It had to be. No. Fifteen. 15. Uh, two thousand fifteen. I'm gonna say you remember that long? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was two thousand fifteen. Um, that was. It was about when I just started realizing I wanted to do entertainment and whatnot. Okay. And then one of my friends, he went through a situation. I was like, basically go around and ask people had they ever been in that situation before. Gotcha. And then I put a skit on the end of it. That's what the first season. I put a skit on gotcha. the end of it. Okay. So it was like I would just go to these. At that time, I was going to different campuses, and I would just ask random people random questions. Like, and then it's like you got pretty good turnout. People was interested to do yeah, it. Yeah. That's good. And then. Let's get to go with whatever the topic was. So your stuff is really relatable. I know people like if you can feed into something that's relatable to you, you're gonna watch it. You're gonna yeah, feed into it because you care about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. about you. Um as far as like the whole getting into entertainment and content and creativity, what what inspired you into? Because I don't think because you were in school then? Were you still in school? Yeah, I was in school. So what made you like be like, you know, this school shit not working for me, so let me try something else to kinda get my creative out there. Um it was Jay Z. It was Jay Z on fifty thousand and a baby. Gotcha. 2014, everything happened that year. It was just like, do do go. I was a freshman in college, John Sports. I was a freshman right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so for, the, for those who don't know what ABAB is, it's a, I am the host, it's just a non profit organization that helps uh, kids or the youth, really anybody, <laughs> realize what their passion is. Shout out to B White. Uh, me and Keith both were in ABAB mm -hmm. in college, so that's kind of how we know each other, how I know what Keith's doing, you know what I mean? Aside from all the Instagram that I see, that's how I first found out who Keith was, was that right there, ABAB. As far as like, Jay Z and you said under two thousand. Yeah. So they're music based. Uh -huh. How did you don't do any kind of music? Huh? You got a single out EP and feeling like I want to put out an EP. I mean, you could. I, mean, I you do want to put out an EP. You do everything else, so you might as well keep going. See, test everything. See what you get. Like, one of my homeboys he, he raps, and yeah. I, I got a verse. Really? Yeah, I got a verse. So okay, so when you rap, is it someone you rap like, or is it just it's all you? It's me. It's all you. It's yeah. just boom. It's yeah. just Keith Bell. So I'm be like, that sounds like Keith right there when I hear yeah, it. Me. Okay, that's yeah. all you work. Okay, cool. Well, 
EP coming out soon. Make sure y'all heard it here on the way out. EP coming out soon. EP coming out soon. Word. Right. Right. Yeah. Make sure you was here. Remember that you was here. If that's what you make it off of, you was here. First interview. Um, but yeah, like I said, their music influence. So how did they? How did their music? Is that what it is, or is it the interviews that you watched? Or maybe their um, persona? Well, with Jay Z, I went to the Magna Carter War Tour concert okay. when it came to Charlotte, mm -hmm. and um, he performed Encore. Gotcha. And so Encore uh, is a part of breaking the song where it's like I guess a announcer or a DJ. He's like, "Are y'all out there? Are y'all out?" And in the, back, in the background, niggas just like, "Hover." Oh, right, yeah. right. And so niggas in the crowd was doing that, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like everybody look at this nigga doing. You know what I'm saying? Music, yeah. That's crazy. And so I was like, I wanted to be in entertainment because of that, but I knew I didn't want to do music. Makes sense. Okay. And then at least that, you knew who you was, right? Yeah, there, yeah. You know what I'm saying that wasn't you. Yeah. And then that summer, uh, I was in Atlanta for an internship, and I was staying with my grandparents. And you know how people always say Andre 3000 one of the best rappers. Yeah, shit. of so, course. But I had never listened to Andre 3000 like that. In depth. Yeah, in depth, yes. I got you because I've heard a couple of songs. <laughs> so that's something that's all I listen to. And that's when I start writing poetry. Got you. And then that fall, a baby had um, one of the stage productions. Yeah. I forget which one it was. Okay. But um, I went to that. That was my first time. That was really my first introduction to a baby. And I was like, man, Claflin needs something like this because I went to Claflin. Right. And so I wrote my own show. And so ever since then, yeah. And it's just it just kind of go from there. It just came natural. And that's crazy. Yeah. I guess that baby did what it was supposed to do. Yep. It, that, <laughs> when you got to give credit, and that's that's yeah. true. That's yeah. true. It helps you realize a lot about yourself. That's crazy, man. Yeah, pretty much. And is that so? As of right now, where you are, does anything else really fluctuate? How you like influence you at all in um, the area? Because that's that. Even though it was a couple, like just a few years ago, yeah. a lot has changed in the last few years. So has anything like kind of influenced you more now? Probably just music. Like I'll take, like I'll go back to Jay Z with um, let's go like Can I Live? Mm -hmm. And again, he said we hustle out of sense of hopelessness, hopelessness, sort of a desperation. But that desperation become addicted, sort of like the fiends be accustomed to surfing. And I just take that. <laughs> uh -huh. I ain't no sir, no fiends. Right. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, I just take like the hustle aspect, and I, that's and how I do so it. much. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Just taking, really, just taking everything out of music and just applying it to life and whatnot. At least you applying it. Some people just listen and don't need yeah, to apply it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, I don't even, okay, so this whole thing, like, yeah, it's, it's what you love to do. Mm -hmm. You're creative. You, everything is what you love to do. But the end goal is to make a profit from it. I don't know how people be like, I'm doing it because I love it. That's cool. You are. Yeah, you love it. But you're trying to get a profit from it. You can't live off love. Right. You can't live off love. Yeah. They ain't going to pay no bills out here. So I'm thinking, like that's who you are that's cool but you have got to make some money from it. and i think right now is the time for anybody that's a creative or whatsoever doing anything like this it's time to make the money right now mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so this whole hustle aspect you don't have to be a hustler and like sell drugs like exactly how yeah. you're applying you don't have to sell drugs and everything you can hustle like what you're doing right now and and practice on your craft have all this stuff going on because i you know, I'm a director too, so I understand. When yeah, I see you put uh, anything uh, out, yeah, I'll be like, bro, shout out to that nigga, because I know how hard it is to put something out. Yeah. So to see you doing it, that made me really want to go hard, you know what I'm saying? It's not even like a whole put them down, bring them down type thing. If I know something, I'm going to help you out, because that's just how people are, and I hope the same, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, you, you know, course. we're cool, so that's yeah. how it be. So, it's money out here, but you don't got to be selfish. You do not have to be course, selfish. There's so much yeah. money out here, bro. So that's one thing I want to just implement to so like any viewers, anybody to see this. Build we, people we up. Need it. We, look, we, just, we need it. Please, just build <laughs> people up, man, because okay. it's crazy out here, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, doggy dog world. Definitely. It don't have to be like that at all. Yeah. It don't have to be like that. As far as, like, filmmaking, directing, all that kind of stuff, let's talk about that. And um, is there, like, is there a director you look up to that you kind of, like, inspired by or, like, influence you at all? Even their work ethic or anything like that? Not really, because I don't know a lot of, like, people that are in that world. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Because I just watch a movie, but I won't know who did it. Got you. I just like the movie. I feel you. I haven't got to that point. She taught me a lot about that. Like, yeah. knowing people. You need to, yeah. yeah. But I, I really don't be like knowing people. And that's, see, that, I think that's cool. Because I, what I do personally, now, now that I've stepped into that domain, that's who I like. That's, I, I know who I am about that mm -hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? I pay attention to who who wrote it, who directed it, who in it, who the assistant director, who the production assistant, the stage, where the location scout. You know, I because I just want to know. That helps me realize that it's possible. You know what I'm saying? These are regular people. And they're doing all this and getting paid these millions of dollars. Or like, 
when you think black directors, it's like, I want to be a top black director, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm sure that's your goal too, you know what I mean? And it's enough room for everybody, so it's like, that's what I recommend. Look at who the people are doing. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Try that. That's something easy you can do, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really easy. Even without these casting directors, they looking for people. You know what I'm saying? It's just course, yeah. it's so much out there, bro. It's just really it's cool to know another director. I think that's cool. Especially someone in my area, that's something that's real dope. So that's why I be rooting for you all the time. Everyone's in this whole like wave right now talking about you need to surround yourself with people who are like rooting for you. Do you have a team or like a group of friends that kind of have your back and kind of make sure your ideas are good or like you all right? Cause you gotta check on your friends sometimes. Well, I, I really go to John again for, for everything. Okay. She She's my best friend, but she's also like my business manager. Okay. So if I have an idea, that's the first person I go to cause she's gonna question everything. Good. And she's gonna like. Dissect it down or something. Yeah, dissect it down cause I don't ask questions. I don't ask questions. <laughs> I don't ask questions. <laughs> I don't ask questions. <laughs> she's gonna ask a million questions. Right. To the point where it's annoying you don't even want to do it no more but it's just for the better of whatever you're trying to do and that's the kind of people you need that's how people you need and also have my friends that i've had my whole life basically okay. and so they also i wouldn't say i don't say that either they also help out you know sure. what i'm saying if i need some help like my videographer he, he doesn't do video <laughs> <laughs> i, I just tell him like point the camera here and that looks pretty good. Yeah. And check, you know, run back, yeah, make, check, make sure it's focused. Ah, we good. Yeah. Like, let's let's shoot. I got you. Yeah, so I just use my my friends really, okay. and they just help me out a lot. So that'd be your crew type. Yeah, thing. my crew. I yeah. feel you. That's how it is. As long as you got friends to help you out, like I got. So like when do they also have, like the crew? You like the people, your friends? Do they have like ideas too that you think are good? And you kind of like incorporate that in what you're doing, or do they do any kind of business on the side that you want to kind of shout out right now, or anything like that? Um, well, my one of my friends. Well, cousin in LB <laughs> cool. uh, and roommate. Uh, he's in uh, Realty, so if you need a house, South Carolina, North Carolina. Oh, say bro name. We talking about Nico? Nick is Ron Hart. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about uh, bro. If you need a house, um, I'll, let my, I'll let my dog. Yeah, because every time I answer him, I see him too every yeah. day. Yeah, he's around it too. Every we single day. Each other, we live together. That's crazy, bro. Every day, bro, it's like a new house. I'd be like, damn, it's not good. Bro, he's doing it too, man. He's doing it too. And it's crazy, yeah. like, it's like, I don't know y'all, like we haven't like kicked it outside or anything like that, but I, it's like I, I watch y'all Instagram, y'all Twitter, y'all all the social media, and I feel like I know what y'all be doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, guess, I guess that's that's good and bad, but it's cool. It's, it's, it's just cool to see people doing stuff. I like that. I like that. So if you need a house, anything like that? If you need a house, hit them up. Then my friend Coop, he came, that's who I was going to do the uh, car show with. Got you. Coop's really into cars. Got you. So I was going to do the car with what our schedule was, what his schedule Yeah, because Coop be like, working, I be saying yeah, he be working, working crazy. With the way out, um, we talk about a lot about the the good and what's going on, what you're doing, and all that kind of stuff. But I want to know more personally about so from this journey from when you started from 2014 ish in that mm-hmm. era till now. I know it's it's human nature. I know you've had like some dark times where you just kind of be like, "This is too much," or "I don't want to do this." In those times, what is like? How did you pull yourself out of it? Um, my whole thing is just mind over matter. Mm-hmm. It's like. Whatever is happening, it could be worse. Like every morning at 12 a.m., my alarm goes off. It says, it could be worse. Whatever happened that day, Got you. it could have been worse. Got you. So I just I just try to keep that in mind and basically just push through and just keep going and not dwell on stuff. Yeah, dwell I on stuff. You. I managed that 12 a.m. thing. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, just, whatever happened, it's, it's all good. It could have been worse. Because you do a lot. Because I understand the whole filmmaking, the talk, show, the yeah. pie. I understand all how you do scheduling all of that. Even provide equipment for all that. I know, I know, really it, understand. It's like it weighed down on me because he'd be like, I know it's popping, I know it's yeah, popping. Like, where yeah. the money at? Bro, right, <laughs> right. And especially the area we live in, it's just not, people aren't really funding that type of stuff yeah. here. But hopefully it'll come soon. Hopefully they see what we're doing. They'll be like, that's kind of dope. I should might invest in that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I know me personally, I definitely get overwhelmed. When I be doing all this stuff, I be like, I believe it. Oh, God. I was like, oh my God. When I look at my calendar, I just, okay, that's what I just started doing. I got, I bought this big ass calendar that fits my desk so I can put my arm when I write everything out, see everything. Even then, I'm overwhelmed. I'm like, this is still too much. Yeah, I'm terrible with schedule. Look, Me too. Calendar, I don't have a calendar. See, you might want to, there was only $5 at Walmart. You might want to get you one. Look. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, like, that scheduling, that's the hardest part. The doing it, not so much, but the scheduling. Yeah. Once you've been in it, that's yeah, it's like, I'm in it. That's yeah. me, I'm doing it, I'm good, I'm good. But when you gotta schedule something with everybody else's schedule, especially you gotta cast. That's why, I don't, that's why another reason why I don't use as many 
mem uh, people. When you're you writing, I, believe yeah. me, I understand. I don't know what some I was like, that's too many characters still. Yeah, I minimize. Can't have that many people. I feel you. Yeah. I understand that, I understand. Um, so, so as far as like women, that's one of the bigger challenges you face, like having to schedule all the yeah, people in there. And then at one point it was like, just people who see what you're doing, but they they support it in the dark. Yeah, I got you. It's like I, I got you. I got a thousand views, but I got three reposts. And that's like it's like it don't weigh out. It don't. And you know, I see people repost like random stuff. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you can take the time to repost what you do. Exactly. Doing. They talk about foolishness all day. That's because Bird Box. I'm sorry. I, I thought about you. Saw you got 47 million views yeah. in seven days. Yeah. Think about somebody just posted women like that. Do you see what I'm saying? It's yeah. just like. But then at the same time, be like, they're not obligated to do that. They aren't. That's also so true. So then that's when I go back in my mind. Like, yeah, like okay. I just keep doing your thing. It'll get. At out. one point, they gonna feel obligated. You know what I'm saying? But once, you, once you pop, then that's when they. Gonna that's when I hop on. I was a bad bad dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been there. But nigga, shut up. I was on season two, episode one. Right, right. right. <laughs> Man, so that that's. And everyone preaches about it, they're always like, you know, you need to support black men, you need black people doing entrepreneurship. They always preach about it, but it's rare when I see people actually do it. Cause I can see people like a post, like um, like a celebrity post, and they got they got their post notifications turned on. First thing right, you see, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Why you can't do that for other stuff that's going like on? Just a retweet. Right, just a little quick. Boom, little retweet, you know what I'm saying? It'll take two seconds when you're scrolling, two seconds. Like, Comment because you know the little algorithm on Instagram and YouTube, like you have to comment and like it. Yeah, to get that's it how that's how more people see it. So that's if you if you really support what your friend doing, you'll comment every Ooh, God. You're, <laughs> you're comment every time they're doing something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that really, that's how you get the word out there. Mm -hmm. It's just being really, you, I, I'm not saying, I'm not, I don't want to force it on nobody, but I really just feel like people should just start supporting a little bit more. I know everyone preaches that and all that, but I'm yeah. just, you have to be active about it. You got to yeah. really do it. That's how people really make it. Yeah, that's support, how you support yeah. I'm telling you, if you support somebody, they're going to make it. Regardless. So if you really, you know, people I support, you don't forget about me. If you really support me, <laughs> turn my post notifications on, be there every time I need a just little comment. money. Look, that's it. Comment. <laughs> Throw me a little comment, do a little something, and we're going to make it. That's simple. Yeah. That's simple. Yeah. For other creatives, so like, Cause you do a lot, so just everything your con your whole content, your whole YouTube, every, all that. Do you have any tips for other creators out there that are trying to do the thing or just anything? How they can work with you if you want to work with people? Are you open to that? I am open to it. I'm, I want to work with people, but I don't know. Like people will come to other people that are around me and right. say like, "Tell Keith I want to be in the show." Mm -hmm. It's like, why ain't just come talk to me? <laughs> to you about it, right? <laughs> yeah, but um, you think you're inviting Keith? Or you, you, you pretty inviting as a person. I'm not. No, that might be why. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm not. I'm that not might that be why. <laughs> I'm not that invited. I'm not gonna lie to you. But um, my whole thing, is just the other creators, is just just keep going. You know what I'm saying? If you if you got if you believe in this, just keep going. Even if like people not watching, or if you don't think you're not getting the numbers that you think, right. or you're not getting the views, same the same thing. Just just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Because. You the only person. If don't if you don't believe it, nobody else is. Exactly. So just just keep doing your thing, and no market is oversaturated. Exactly. So if you see, I got a show, you got a show, he got a show, he got a show, she got a show. If you want a show, get do a show. Do a show. Just do a show. And don't and also um, don't think you need like all this crazy stuff. True. That's like true. all I started with was a camera and. Uh, editing something and, yeah and i taught myself how to do that so it's like <clears throat> excuse me it's like you don't need like lights cameras and i just got all my you know what i'm saying it's right there it's you don't need all that yeah you know what i'm saying you get all that over time just write it get no people and just point and press record and that's it and put it together that's if it. people if people like what you're doing they're gonna blah, be simple they gonna fuck with it either way it go First episode of the way out, you know, that was a little uh, iPhone right here, a little older <laughs> candy, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't even my shit, you know what I'm saying? And I made that. The first episode we did on What's the Word was on the iPhone. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? And with these new iPhones, it was like a whole camera now. Exactly. And if you can edit, on your phone. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. So, as far as women in Too Deep, Good Fellas podcast, What's the Word, mm -hmm. what other like films or is any other series that we can expect from me, anything coming up you want to talk about? The short film with Red Flag, I, of course, want to. Yeah, I, I saw your um, I saw the flag for that. Then I have another short film idea in my head that I'm not gonna share, but I just have an idea cool. that I wanna put out probably around May or June. Okay. After the season is done. And then I, I can you. film that. all the stuff. I feel yeah. I know how you I know. And then get that done. And then Yeah. 
So just stuff like that coming. Okay. Yeah, so, cover like film. so you're trying to focus more on films, like short films now? Yeah, I want to do a couple of those. I feel you. And another thing with short films, also I've noticed is like, people call a short film like 40 minutes now, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I think you get a short film done about eight, 10 minutes, you know yeah, what I'm exactly. saying? It's just a good story and it's good straight to the point. I've seen some, I've seen some great ones done in like eight minutes. I'd be like, Damn, that was good as hell, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Touch, yeah. okay. But so, and one thing too, one thing I noticed, uh, you know, Issa Rae does like short film Sundays. So mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You can submit your film to her. And if she likes it, she'll put it on her YouTube channel. So that's another thing about also. You know what you're saying? You know, if you ever want to collab, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm here. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You know, I got a few ideas, man. Like I said, I'm really getting into it now. I had to do a lot of planning, a lot of readjustments to everything. You know what I'm saying? But now, I'm really about to get into it because I got a lot more that I learned. You like writing more or like? Listen, writing is just like editing for me. I love it. I'll do it. I can, like, I can write. See what I'm saying? If I sit down, I can write it. Yeah. Maybe if I don't force myself to sit down. If I can sit down and do it, I can make a pretty good story, yeah. but like looking forward to writing this stuff, not really yeah, me. I don't like it either. That's not, not really me. Written the episode for I feel you. That's why I understand. That's why you say I ain't saying nothing. I'm like shit. I feel you. <laughs> Write the night before. You know I don't yeah. give a. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I understand that, but it's just something about directing, man. It's like when I can like see some somebody wrote like a script and they give it to me like, hey, so what do you think you do it? I'm like, shit. Yeah. I'm gonna do something with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'll make it work. So that's that's when, that's when I knew it clicked for me. Um, so like I said, we'll work together. I'm interested in doing that. Get some short films. That's right. We can do short films. That's cool. Yeah. Anybody in like the upstate area, the Charlotte area, anything, any anywhere close to here on the you know what I'm saying? Uh, hit us up if you want to act. If you're into acting, anything like that, we definitely looking for actors, real actors. You know what I'm saying? Not people that's like, hey, I want to be in your film because yeah, y'all. We get them off time. Yeah, you know, we get them. I'm like, ah, I scroll through, but I'll, if we look, if you serious about acting, and you're taking serious. That means like learning the script, becoming in depth with the character, showing up. How about this? That's what we're looking for. Me, I know Keith looking for it, so that's what I'm saying. Just hit us up, because I know I know people want to act. I know some more creators out here. So if you want to be on the way out or anything like that, good fellas podcast, and other people can be on that, or is it just you? We pick and choose. Hit him up. Yeah. If he likes it, he's going he gonna to take him back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that is least. I got you. I got yeah. you. So Uncaged Bird Network. Uncaged Birdie Network. Uncaged Birdie Network. That's you too. Uncaged Birdie Productions. That's Instagram. My Instagram is at underscore KBellJR. Right. So if you see anything uncaged birdie, that's Keith. And if you see somebody else doing it, it's not Keith, let them know. <laughs> okay. So um, like I said, man, Keith, it's been a pleasure having you on the way out, man. Thank you. I really appreciate y'all. Keith right. Bell, Thank you for having me. he was here when he rich and famous, y'all. Hopefully I'll be there too. But if I'm not, he was on season uh, two, episode one. So that's how I get. So thank you guys for tuning into the way out, man. Stay tuned. Um, I got more stuff coming. Remember on Instagram is at officially the way out. The YouTube channel is Cam Durant Productions. Thank you guys for tuning in. The views. Check out Women. Episode 4 coming soon. Just follow the whole network that he has going on. Whole yeah, production. Everything. Subscribe. subscribe. All that. Subscribe. Yeah. Let's talk about subscribing. Oh my gosh. Please. Bruh. <laughs> please subscribe. Y'all can watch the video. But I know y'all got Gmail accounts. All it takes is two seconds to hit that subscribe button. That's it, bro. And that's how we can get more content. More views. More money to put out. More content. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all one chain, one cycle. So please, if you can take the time to watch it, subscribe. That's what we're really asking for too. So, got a fellow director, content, every. This man does everything. He does everything. So, it was a pleasure having him on the show. Thank you for tuning in to Way Out. We'll see you next episode.